Welcome to the highlights of the Practical Classics Classic Car Restoration Show with Discovery Plus. It is the Classic Car Auctions. It's in Hall 3 this year. It's an amazing display of cars. There's everything here from cars that you can buy from just a thousand pounds all the way up to cars that are a hundred grand. And there's something for everyone, whether it's a fully restored project or a restoration project that you can really get your teeth stuck into. There's lots to see and do. And here are my highlights. Right, the first of my lots happens to be the charity lot. In aid of the NHS, this has been a restoration by Practical Classics magazine. The car was donated to them by a chap who wanted to do something for the NHS. And it's just beautiful. It's 1974 Reliant Rebel. And I love that name, Rebel. Just come and have a look how good this engine is. Look at it. Oh, look, I'm going to crash into it. Look how nice that engine is. Everything has been reworked. The engine's been out. It's been completely restored. The paintwork in the engine bay is, is sublime. The paintwork on the outside of the car is absolutely glorious. The wheels are beautiful as well. Trust me, the inside is just as good as the outside. There's a full feature about it in Practical Classics magazine. All the work that went with it and undergone and uh, they've done such an amazing job. And the really good thing about this car is every penny of it is going to the NHS. Even the auction fees by Classic Car Auctions, they're waiving those fees. And the guide price is between four and six thousand pounds, so it's really cheap. And it's being offered with no reserve. So we expect it to do really well. But if you're in the market to raise some money for charity, get this. If you buy it in your company name, you can write the whole thing off, remember and uh, you could put this in your atrium of your building because you've done something good for the NHS. So good luck with that one, lot number 101. However, this is my favorite, of course. This is lot number 140. You may be familiar with this vehicle. It's a star of the screen. It's the one that myself and Elvis worked on on Wheeler Dealers. Uh, we're delighted with it, actually. It was one of our favorite ever builds. It's my glorious Colin the camper. What we did with this is we took out that little wheezy 1.5 litre engine and we converted it to a 2 litre Pinto with an automatic Sierra gearbox and now it cruises at 70 miles an hour on the motorway. You can overtake somebody at 80 in this old car. It's absolutely wonderful. Come and have a look at the inside, all the work we've done here, all the cabinet, cabinets at the back were rebuilt by me. I'm very very pleased with the way they turned out. It's got a oven, it's got a sink, uh, it's got a fridge down, it's got everything basically you need for that staycation. Yeah. It's got a brand new pop top on it as well, which you would have seen on the TV show. Uh, we sold this to a fella called Martin. It's done weddings, it's done uh, proms, it's done all kinds of things. And the market has changed. The market for staycations, motorhomes, is just climbing through the roof at the moment and the values of these are shooting up all the time. Now this is guided anywhere between 14 and 18,000 pounds. And I remember when I sold it on screen, I had people offering me 22,000 pounds. So for somebody out there, they're gonna get themselves a bit of a bargain if they put their hands up and buy this very famous little Bedford camper called Colin. So good luck to everyone. Look out for it, it's lot number 140. No, lot number 120, you got the price wrong. You must have the price, you have to have the price. Can't be right, I think there's a mistake. There must be, look at it. It's a Lagonda. It's a drop head coupe 2.6 litre Lagonda. The estimate is between 15 and 20,000 pound for this historic road car. And it's not the practical classic, it's classic car and restoration show with Discovery Plus with classic car auctions unless we find a car that is in need of restoration. And I don't think I've ever seen another one. That drop head coupe Lagonda uh, lot number 120, it's a tick for car as well. And look, come here, come here, come here. Every single piece you need to put it back together, look inside the car. Everything's here. Everything you could need to put it back together has been boxed up, badged up, and kept. Now this car is gonna make somebody very happy because not only do you get an amazing car, but you also get an amazing project to go and work on. And a guy price between 15 and 20,000 pounds. You made a mistake, fellas. You made a mistake. I'm going to raise the price. Is somebody going to wash this? Is there anyone going to give it a clean before, before it goes through the auction? No. No, they're not. It's the last thing you want to do. This 
is a genuine barn find. 33 years stuck in a barn. One lady owner from new, 11,000 miles. It's a Mini 1275 GT. It's lot number 154. Just look at all the dirt and grime that's on this car. It's original and it's telling an amazing story. But with my expert eye, I can see underneath the dirt and grime and I can tell you there's no fraying around the edges. The interior looks really good. It's just a little bit dusty. Uh, all the trim is in place. Uh, the chrome, I reckon that's just gonna polish up nicely. There's no rust at the bottom half. Actually, this is guided, I think, at around 10 to, what is it, 10 to 12,000 pounds. I've got a funny feeling this little baby here is going to make a lot more money than that. And there's a reason for that. Lot number 154, the little mini. Where are you going to find another one? I love one-offs. I love unique cars. Cars that nobody else has got. Remember, right now, somebody is paying, I don't know, 350 grand to get a Lamborghini to be exclusive. But they don't need to spend that kind of money. If you want to be exclusive, then why look at, not look at lot number 146. This is a 1985 Range Rover, three and a half liter. Yeah, you're hearing me, convertible. Where you seen another one? Look at it, the paintwork is absolutely glorious. Magenta red, the interior. The interior is to die for, look at that leather. Absolutely wonderful inside. It's a left-hand drive, 130,000 miles on the clock. But look at it, it's absolutely pristine. It's got the headrest, it's got this rollover hoop on the top. And for a Range Rover convertible, funny enough, they've just started to do it, haven't they, with the Evoque, make a four-wheel drive convertible car. But somebody had the idea years ago. And those people happen to be in Italy because that's where this conversion was done. So you've got Italian coach builders working on a British iconic car and you end up with this, lot number 146, the sublime Range Rover. I just want you to have one more gulp at it before I shut up because I reckon guided anywhere between 30 and 35,000 pounds, you don't need your Lamborghini, go and buy one of these and be exclusive. Lot number 377. Don't know what to say about it really. Look, motoring royalty, isn't it? I'm curtsying next to this car. It's a Ferrari 365 GT 2 plus 2 Coupe. Absolutely sublime. It's done less than 40,000 miles. It's been in a private collection for many years and now it's been offered for sale. It's one of the real stars of this show, but come and drink in some of the details, like the knockoffs on the wheels. Aren't they glorious? The absolutely glorious gray paintwork and then look at this interior. The interior, black leather. It's got that wonderful gear knob and, and uh, a stick. But look where the steering wheel is. It's on the right hand side of the car. It's on the correct side of the car. And that's because it's a UK supplied Ferrari 365. Guided anywhere between 80 and 100,000 pounds. It may sound like a lot of money, but this is basically taking the money that you've got, investing it into a car, enjoying it and watch it increase in value for many years to come so look out for it lot number 377 fire! yes it's every boy's dream to own a fire truck it certainly was my dream when i was young and why not take this one home look at it lot number 178 it's a 1941 uh, international k6 fire engine diner i'll get to that bit in a minute but look at it absolutely glorious and what a bit of kit it looks amazing and you've got all the things that you'd expect to find on a fire truck you've got like knobs levers dials the cockpit looks amazing i like the fact it's open as well the cockpit of course the bell still works you just heard me ringing the bell uh it's got the hoses on the side you've got all these cubby holes everywhere but the real piece of the resistance which we absolutely love you're gonna love this look it's been converted into a diner so you can get all your family or all your friends in the back of it and you can have a nice meal. Just have some, you know, fire chicken wings or a hot pizza. There you go. The connotations are there for everyone to play with. So yeah, look out for this when it goes through the auction. It's lot number 178. The fire truck, it's going to go very well, this. I reckon it's going to be hot. Tax 
Pretty. I know. Usable classics, right? Usable classics. It's like buying a, a classic commercial vehicle, a van. You can always put it to good use, like I have. How about this? Lot number 177. It's a 1959 GMC 370 flatbed. But it's got some really cool features. Not only is it a wonderful restoration, look at this. I'll open up the wing for you so you can have a peek inside at the engine bay. That's where you put your washer fluid in there. Isn't that wonderful that you can just open up the wing on the side? Inside, absolutely lovely. Left hand drive. It's got that pistol shifter in the middle, which is nice. But the bit that I love about it the most is this, this usable space. This is a flatbed where you can put your 1950s, 1960s classic car on the back of this, a bit of Americana maybe, drive it to a show. So you'll turn up at the show looking apart with a proper outfit, a car like this. I think it's absolutely wonderful. And dare I say, it's kind of something that I wouldn't mind putting in my collection. So look out for it. It's lot number 177, that's the GMC truck, a very usable classic. Go. Look at it, eh? It's one of my treats to come here to the Practical Classics Classic Car and Restoration Show with Discovery Plus and come to the Classic Car Auction section, uh, which is in Hall 3, so remember that, it's in Hall 3. Now, when you come here, you can bid on any one of these amazing cars, like this manual, 20,000 mile Aston Martin. Look at it. There's cars here from just a few grand all the way up to 100 grand. You can really lose yourself, not only in the cars that are for sale, but also in the world of potential investment. Now, you can bid online if you want to, just look it up at Classic Car Auctions or there's nothing better than coming here yourself and getting in the physical space. Viewing day is tomorrow, that's Friday, so make sure you come for a viewing if you wanna buy any of these cars that I've highlighted, or turn up on Saturday and Sunday. The doors open here at the NEC at nine o'clock in the morning. The auction doesn't start till 11, so you've got a couple of hours to run around the cars and have a look at them, and to get in the auction, all you need to do is to buy that auction program, it's a tenner, and when you do come in, Find one of the consigners, find a member of staff, talk to them about these cars because they're full of information about them. But I know if you come here and put your hand in the air, you'll be looked after, you'll have a great day, lots of fun, and hopefully you'll go home with something you can treasure for years to come. So good luck everyone, see you then.